I put it off for a decade, uh, and I wish I wouldn't have. Uh, I don't know. I've always kind of been interested in it a really long time ago, and uh, and then I finally this year just said I'm I'm doing it, and I wish I would have sooner because it's a blast. Everybody wants to fly when they're a kid or whatever. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, basically strap a motor on your back with a propeller and a parasail and uh, go fly up in the air, run a little bit, take off. Get the wind blasting through your face and, and you're just basically flying like Superman almost. So one of the big things with this sport is uh, protecting other people. And we have a lot of freedom in this sport of ultralights, but it's kind of with the expectation that we protect other people and don't annoy other people. So, uh, like today, early morning, I you know pick an area out in the country a little more where there's not a lot of houses and stuff like that. You can fly in the first three and the last three hours of the day, generally. Uh, they don't recommend in the middle of the day because as the warm air heats up on the surface of the earth, it starts to burst and go up quite fast. So you have air going up and then cold air coming down and you can get into the edge of that and it can collapse the, the wings. So they don't recommend most people to fly in the middle of the day. It's not like something you can just commute to work on or whatever because the wind is a major factor. Uh, you need to have like less than 10 mile an hour winds. You know, deer are real up and down. Some deer will just sit there and let you fly over them. Other ones take off when you're a long ways away. And, and coyotes, you'd be amazed how many coyotes are out there. I became a superhero with my kid too and all his friends, you know? So, so yeah, it's, it's been a blast.